the real devil. You got it wrong. You see what I'm saying? So to wake up every morning is not, and I repeat, and we can debate on this, to wake up every morning is not necessarily a blessing. That's right. To wake up every morning is not necessarily a blessing. You see, somewhere around 2,000 years ago, this thing got changed around. The whole key to our mysticism and our mystery was to get back to the higher realm. Remember, they talk about a man that fell, the fallen realm. So to wake up when you have fallen from grace and glory is not necessarily so positive. That's called fundamentalism and moralism that have nothing necessarily to do with spirituality. The last 2,000 years, we have been dealing with fundamentalism and moralism that has something to do with, 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 with the social a social religion is based on economic, political, mundane, and social reasons, but not necessarily real spirituality. We want to address these problems because I think this is a critical point that we turn everything around. Now, first, I first started out and I, I gave some of you this Christ ritual. Now, let me explain this to you. First of all, the Christ ritual, I, I explained that a brother was, had to go to court and he couldn't find out what to do. But he remembered getting this ritual from me from me a couple of months ago. And he, and he ended up doing this when he went to court. They ended up being in favor of him and the white woman that was battling against him. They almost locked her behind him. Now what is actually happening here? It means, is it not written in your law that ye are gods, which means that you are the microcosm of the macrocosm. Whenever you do these particular things, you are only empowering the energy within yourself. The God force that which is in yourself. Now, even when you pour libations, when you pour libations, you are only empowering the God force that's in yourself. Because the ancestors, not only when they go to the celestial realm, they live inside of you. That's why sometimes when you are going through some things, sometimes you might hear a person might tell you, don't do this. And you say, well, damn, it, it, it might not necessarily be your higher self or uh, the, the guardian angel. It could be your mother telling you. You say, well, one of my ancestors came to me and told me not to do that. That means inside of your inside of you is a whole universe that exists, all of us. So when you pour the libations, you're not only giving blessings to the ancestors, you are also empowering yourself. That's the key. That's the, that's the real key. Because they exist inside of you. We live in a multi-dimensional universe and you gotta understand the concept of how the universe works other than what is the basic conventional way that has been taught. You understand what I'm saying? And so the, the, one of the key things, well right here, okay, one of the key things is to get out of these fears. You are now in God's school. The other people, that's the mass of the people are depending on you. You are the Godhead, but you are going to be the ones that's going to get our people out of this mess. Not nobody from the skies, because the one from it coming from the skies are coming in you and through you, and you will be a part of that particular God here. The one to get your people out of this mess. So you've got to start thinking of yourself as more advanced beings than just waiting on something good to happen to you. Because you are the one that make that happen. So uh make that happen. So that's that that's